Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to use parallel controller in our JMeter. So what is parallel controller? Parallel controller uh, is a controller designed by JMeter. So why we need to use parallel controller? So in our general applications, uh, any of the browser like we'll take uh, Chrome, Zilla, Firefox and even your mobile apps. Some of your mobile apps will have a concurrent calls to the server when you launch your app. So even if you go to the one of, one of the biggest uh, website, e-commerce website, uh, Amazon, so you will be having a uh, concurrent calls in our uh, uh, in the request. So when you hit Amazon.com and the subsequent images and everything will be sent in a concurrent way. Like what? Uh, what's the concurrent count? So generally, we'll use for six to eight. It varies from browser to browser. Some browsers maintain six, some more browser maintain eight, some i.e. Uh, like ten, and other changes from version to version. So uh, if your requirement is to handle a parallel calls if on your mobile application or mobile APIs or your application, if you have a concurrent calls, then so these are all the calls what we're seeing now. So these are all the calls. Uh, they are concurrently fried. If you see this, the timestamp will be same for all the calls. Timestamp will be called same for all the server seven six seven, and this is started at seven six eight. So my different slight different, but most of the calls have a seven six four, seven six seven. It started almost all similar uh, time time zone. So if you want to add a parallel controller in your request, so it, it behaves like realistic. Uh, uh, realistic behavior of your uh, uh, from the browser or from an app. So in JMeter generally executes one after the other. So if we have two calls A and B, uh, JMeter will call uh, will wait for the request of the first response of the first request and next start the second request. So let's say if it's request one and the request two, request two. Request one, request two. JMeter will behave like if you start, if, if when the thread, thread count thread group starts or transaction controller starts, it sends the first request, wait for the response, next it starts the second request. So in the parallel controller, all the requests are sent at the same time. So for timing, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, some example here. So I'm taking Amazon.com. taking amazon.com pressing here get request another request uh, I will take this another request uh, from the browser as I'm refreshing again just to refresh the application just to see the few calls which we can make use of So I'll take this image. I'm making this a second request. Cut, paste it on IP, remove it, HTTPS. Another request three. Now I make another call. Another image. Copy this. I'm copying from the images. So it's a three. Get request. This is IP. This is a uh, district. This is Amazon.com. So I'm making it as HTTPS here. So add view registry first. Run your script. Yeah, this is your first request, Amazon.com. This is your second request. This is your third request. Now come to a sampler result. So sample start time is 36 
it is a 37 so once you got this once it fired it time it said that uh, this much time and this is a uh, response in bytes sent to bytes you have sent to double to k kilobytes uh, kb latency network length this includes all latency from your server side network and everything 109 milliseconds connected time to your uh, uh, ip this ip this host images any ssl images com. so now the time the time uh, start time of the sample is a one one second difference one one millisecond is different so if we add the same thing parallel controller that should be that uh, those two requests should be the same. So I'm running it again. Seventeen, seventeen. If you see the load time is changed, the load time is one seventy nine, one thirty nine, and the one eighty one, one one thirty nine. And if you go to the uh, time stamp to start a sample start at the same time, both the requests are started at the same time. So if you see the request, this is the request, this is the request, and this is the other request. You come to the sample result. Both samples are started at the same time. So it means the two requests are sent as a parallel, uh, one of, uh, well, not one after the other. So this is how we will use uh, parallel controller in our uh, JMeter. Thanks for listening, friends.